Hey there, this is Man Made Mead. Last time we left off, we were doing our mead tournament. And so I'm very excited to say we are on stage three of the four. We finished stage four last video. That's these guys who are unfortunately the losers. And we are left with the following meads. The 13, the two, the eight, the 16, the three, the one, the five, and the 12. So you should place your bet and see if you are right, if you are still in the running because of your bet you placed earlier, that's awesome. Keep it going, I hope your mead wins. I hope, uh, <laughs> hope that's kind of fun. Um, but let's continue on. We are going to go into the stage three. We are real close to seeing um, who is the victor ultimately. So here we go. All right, we are in stage three now uh, of the meat tournament. So we're gonna start off with our left side with the 13 and the two. Now these were the victors of their other competition and so they are so similar in color. They look like twins. Um, but we're gonna see where they stand. And this is where my nose and my, my taste buds are gonna get even more critical of these because I wanna pick the best meat that I've made um, out of the 16. Um, and let's just let's start with the 13 first off. So here's the 13. Very smooth. Hmm. Tastes to me like could be a traditional mead. I'm trying to find any uh, uh, fruit flavors. I don't really taste any right here. So, I like this one a lot, very smooth. I think this is where it's gonna get hard because these are the best of the best. Oh man, what is this one? Like I said before, I don't know all these. I kinda guessed with the previous one and I'm still guessing as we're going. Uh, so I might be completely wrong, which is not necessarily a good thing, but reality, not too bad of a thing either. This one is a little sweeter. I'm more of a sweet mead kinda guy. So um, I would say the number two is, probably, is the winner here. And it is, I can't put my finger on what uh, kind it is. Now, there are a couple ones I didn't guess last time, like the mango mead. Um, I didn't guess that one at all. What other ones did I not guess? I can't remember exactly. But uh, I don't know. I wish I would say which one this is. I don't have a great guess. But the number two, it moves on. Number two. All right, next up we have the number eight, which the number started to rub off, but it's still there. And versus the number 16. This one, um, I'm pretty sure is the Boche. If I remember correctly, I really like the Boche, um, but I don't want to be too unfair to it because this one smells great too. Oh, and I have a feeling that this is going to be hard round. I think I know what this one is. I'm going to start with the Boche though. Hmm. Man, that caramelized honey flavor, it just pokes through. It's so, it's sweet. It's got such a great aftertaste. Oh man, I love it. Um, I'm gonna try this now. This is the 16. Not the one I was thinking of. This one, uh, not super sweet. I mean, I'm gonna have to give it to the Boche just because I like the Boche. Quite a bit. It's, it's sweeter than, than this one right now. This one's smooth, um, but ultimately smoothness is not the end all be all because I do like kind of the sweet um, and the uh, the notes that the uh, fruit might put through. Which this is a fruit mead. Mm. This is a fruit mead. This has to be the mango mead. Smelling it. It smells like it could be. I could be wrong though. <laughs> so we'll find out if I'm wrong or right. The number eight, Boche moves on. All right, next up, we're in our round uh, three, is we just got through our other two, so we have one more left after this, ultimately. We have the number three versus the number one, excuse me. This is definitely darker, a little, uh, looks a little clearer. Um, now, I wanna try the number one. First, like I said, I'm being more critical of flavors and everything. So, this is number one. 
Got a little bite to it. Whoa, what is this one? Part of me feels like I should be on like on the dot. I should know which one uh, these are. However, I haven't tasted them too much. So maybe that's my saving grace, I don't know. Number this one, uh, I can't say what it is. It's got a nice smooth flavor. It's definitely uh, a mellow mel of sorts. I want to say it's either peach, pear, it's not an orange, not the mango. Hmm, I can't remember, I can't think. Maybe not the apple, but let's try this one now. It's definitely not the apple because this is the apple cinnamon. And the apple cinnamon, I made a big batch of this one. I think this is uh, one I made three gallons of. So this, oh, the apple flavor pokes through. So good. Um, and that cinnamon, you can smell it, you can taste it. It's, it's great. I highly, highly recommend this one. Um, so I'm going to say the number three moves on. Unfortunately, the number one is not going to. All right, next up. On our list, we have the number five versus the number 12. Now, looking at the color difference between these two, there's a very large difference. However, I don't think color means everything in this case. Um, even though I have an idea what this one is, we'll find out. Um, let's try it. Let's go with the number five. No, no, we'll go with the number 12 first. This is 100% the blueberry. Now I remember. Um, it's got that nice blueberry taste. I put them in, in the secondary. Um, this was one of the first meads, one of the first five meads I made, I think. Uh, number five now. No. Oh. I'm so upset. This is so hard. Number five is the peppermint mead. And I like it so much, but I also like the 12. This is where this tournament gets harder and harder. The other ones, I mean, they have a lot of, they have flaws. You can kind of pick at them and say like, well, I don't like it for this reason. Now I'm getting to the nitty gritty point of, oh man, this is, of, of they're both really good. Now I gotta be picky, really picky. Oh. The number 12, it has a little more bitter taste than I would, I would like. If I was being really, really picky, and I hate being that picky, especially with a mead that I made myself in this case, you know, one of my first meads. And this, this number, number five, it's just, it's got the smell, it's got the taste. Oh, it's, it's, it's good. I gotta give it to it. Number five, the peppermint, peppermint mead moves on. Okay, that is the end of round uh, really, it's going to be round two. There's only one more round. Well, really, two more rounds. Uh, goodness, I'm not thinking correctly. There are four rounds. We just did our, our fourth one last video. This is the third round. We got a round, another round to say who's going to go into the grand finals. And ah, this is getting more and more difficult because these meads are great. Um, so let me show you the board where we're at right now with our board. We have our Four bracket guys who are unfortunately not with us anymore. They're not bad meads by any means, but they're also not um, the top of everything currently. Next, we uh, knocked out a few as we went to our third stage. We knocked out even more, so we are left currently with the number two, the number eight, the number three, and the number five. So. Within your bets, I'm curious to see who's still in. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment on this video and say if you're still in and be honest. And if you're not still in, just be honest, but also say, hey, I bet the number whatever is going to win. So um, we have two more rounds. Stick, uh, Stay tuned for the next video. Like I said, they're kind of spread out, but this is a cool video series. I hope it leaves you in some sort of anticipation for the next one. Um, but on the next one, we'll break it down even further and I am, I'm not, uh, too excited. I am excited, but I'm also not excited because these meads are like the top of them all. Uh, and so this is where it gets real hard, but leave a like, leave a comment, 
share, I don't believe this idea has ever been done. I think this is a very new concept for, um, for me. And I love that I've done 16 meets now, which means that, uh, you know, I've been able to like, to do this, you know, I can do this tournament. And ultimately what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna bottle these very soon. And when I bottle them, I'm going to put some away and I'm going to have a meet tournament of probably 2020 or something or 2019 basically to see how these still stack up because some of these guys who might have not done so well could end up tasting better than these guys right now or those things you know so ultimately I am super super excited to see what those taste like stay tuned for next video leave a like subscribe comment let me know where you're at in the tournament um, and share this video man I would love to see it grow so See you guys next time, and cheers.